is my I want to address the IT challenges, particularly for SMB. Because for enterprise customers, uh, they have the adequate uh, knowledge, the skills, and the resources to secure their um, uh, networks. But for SMBs in particular, uh, maybe because of um, the lack of resources, manpower resources, at times even the uh, devices also, it becomes very difficult for them to how to combat this uh, ever-increasing threat. Now, which are the factors uh, who contribute to this ever-increasing threats? They're like, uh, the most important threats are like from internet. And there are various type of threats. You know, as, uh, it is normally termed as anti-malware. So what is anti-malware? Anti-malware could be viruses, it could be worms, trojans, backdoors, it could be key loggers. And every, every virus or every anti-malware comes with its own payload. The payload is something, a distracting activity, which could be like from stealing your password from your network to stealing your data. So uh, the both are equally dangerous. So how do we uh, secure ourselves from this uh, ever-increasing threats? Then second uh, threat is basically the device control or uh, the devices. Because we just can't uh, think of, you know, like uh, working on office network without having a thumb drive. Or maybe earlier we used to use uh, floppies and CD-ROMs or DVDs. But now the, it is changed and most of us, we carry like 4 GB, 8 GB, 16 GB, 32 GB pen drives. And uh, uh, data transfer has become quite rampant. But that is one of the most uh, dangerous, uh, uh, what, what do you say, the dangerous activity is normally carried by most of us. So we need to secure ourselves from uh, those kind of threats also. And the third part is application. Uh, threats, the threats which are associated with certain applications, the applications which are normally not authorized. If somebody is trying to download certain applications which are not, uh, uh, you can say, authenticated or which are not certified as safe to use one, that would create uh, more trouble for us because there are so many uh, viruses or uh, anti-spywares or spywares associated with that and once they get uh, active in your system, they, they could be dormant for some time. That means once you, once you download, they could be activated after a certain time also. It could be one day, two days, could be a month also. But uh, they might connect to the, uh, uh, it is typically called a backdoor. It might connect to, to a certain um, um, a server. I mean, it's a client server kind of architecture. And certain data on request from the client, uh, the, uh, the com uh, malicious code, which uh, acts as a server, it would normally uh, transfer the data. So I think uh, we all need to be very cautious about and uh, need to have the right uh, policies in place. Yes, it is very much important for us, all of us, to be, uh, stay connected with all our customers continuously. But then, at the same time, we have to think about the security. So what are the threats associated with that? I think uh, uh, with this, you can have uh, the content filtering rules. You can set clear policies. You can have a, a certain time which could be uh, given in a day. It could be like only one hour, half an hour, but within lunch period. Or it could, uh, you can have varied policies based on your uh, management career also. But for certain stuff, you can give, uh, maybe they can be blocked. For senior management people, you can have uh, the, all these sites could be open. So I think all those, uh, um, all those activities or all those rule sets are uh, very much required to uh, control, uh, you know, I mean, prevent the threats uh, hampering your organizations.